Hi everybody, it's Mariah and I'm going to do a mommy vlog today about PECS, Picture, Picture Exchange Communication System. This is used a lot for kids who are autistic um, and also adults who are autistic use it every once in a while. Um, my daughter is not autistic but she is behind in speech and you can also use this for any child who is behind in speech or has a hard time communicating. Um, it's a great tool and it, it really does help a lot. Um, it takes a while to get the kid to get the idea, but once they start getting the idea, then it really does help a lot. Um, the first thing you have to do, I'm going to try and make this video fast because I've had a hard time making it the shortened version. Anyway, you take pictures of everything that your child comes in contact with. Not, not completely everything, but... Um, like all of toys and take pictures of um, like videos that they watch and also take pictures of their food for example um, with toys you don't want to take a picture of every single toy they have just the pictures of toys that um, they really enjoy that are small enough that you can keep in a place that they can't get it to it um, toys that that uh, uh, it's kind of a treat to play with, I guess. Um, I have pictures of her special books that she likes, um, puzzles, and her princess stuff. I have pictures of blocks, um, dolls, different kinds of books. Um, the All of these toys that I have in these pictures, they are kept from Denny, so she can't play with them on a regular basis. Um, the only time she plays with them is when she asks for them. So I have this picture board, and when she asks for them, she gets the toy. Same with the food in the fridge. We have a lock on our fridge because Denny has a really... <laughs> she always gets in there and pulls everything out. So we just went to Walmart and got this lock so she can't pull everything out of the fridge all the time. But um, when she wants a snack, she has to ask me for it. Um... In the past, she's just cried. She just cried because she can't tell me what she wants. Well, with this, I have a picture of, of raisins. I have a picture of milk. I have a picture of her sippy cup. I have a picture of juice. I have a picture of uh, carrots. Her Just all of her different things that she eats. Crackers, whatever. I have a picture of everything. And what depending on what I have in the fridge or on the counter that day... I put those pictures out, and she can choose out of those pictures what she wants for her snack or what she wants to drink or whatever. And some kids can only handle a couple pictures at a time, and some kids can handle multiple pictures at a time. So you can either leave out just two pictures or you can leave out 20 pictures, depending on what your kid can handle. Um, same with the videos. Only leave out a few videos of videos that... The only way that they can watch those is if uh, you put them on for, you know, you have them, or they ask you for them first. Sorry, it's late. After you take pictures of everything, you go get it laminated. I got these laminated at Lakeshore Learning Center. It was very cheap, 29 cents per linear foot, um, 39 cents if you're not in the teacher's club, but it's really easy to join the teacher's club. It's free. All you do is sign this little thing and give them your um, information, and voila, you're in the teacher's club. You don't even have to be a teacher. Um, so go get them laminated, and then you get the little sticky Velcro, and stick a Velcro on the back of every single picture. I have this 20 feet long um, sticky back Velcro. It was It's around 10 to $15, depending on where you shop. And then go to Target and get poster board. It's 69 cents for one poster board. And this is half of it. I cut it in half. So, you, you know, just know that you're not going to have to use the whole poster board. Then I take the Velcro and I put it along the top and one along the bottom. Then you can put your pictures on and hang your poster board up on the wall. And also I have a little uh, pocket back here that I made. So that I, if I have extra pictures, then I can put them in the top. Um, 
and I have one of these poster boards for every section that I have. I have a section for her for the TV. I have one by the fridge. I have one in her bedroom. And I also have one for a schedule. Now with the schedule, as you can if you can see it on my wall down there underneath the flag, there's a long strip of paper and there's only one strip of velcro down the center. And with that, I use it for like a schedule. Now uh, with the schedule, some kids use a schedule because written out like that because it's hard for them to transition. Denny has a hard time transitioning once in a while, but it's not like with every single thing she throws a huge fit to trans to transition. It's just when she's having a lot of fun, and I think that happens with a lot of kids. But um, the reason I do the schedule is for the the communication and the words that come from the pictures. For, in, for example, um, I have a picture of a bowl for breakfast, so we use that picture to symbolize breakfast so she can have the word breakfast in her vocabulary. I also have a picture of her toothbrush because she goes from breakfast to brushing her teeth. She has a picture of her toothbrush and toothpaste. So we use that to symbolize brushing teeth and then we have a picture of her clothes to get dressed, so it's time to get dressed, so she knows the, these words go with this picture. Um, we have a picture of her napping, like actually falling, asleep. she's actually asleep in the picture, and we have that put on where she naps during the day, and uh, so she, she has all these pictures that go with words and she has a picture of outside our, in, in our big area that we play in. I have a picture of that area so she knows okay it's time to go play outside because this is the picture and this picture means outside so there's another vocabulary word there's a word that we can work on to say outside um, and you can also put sign language with it that also helps. So that's just my little spill on um, P-E-C-S. If you guys have any questions, I'm, I am learning it myself. Everything I've told you is what I've learned from Denny's teacher that comes every two, two days a week. So um, if you guys have any questions for me, anybody out there who's, who's going through the uh, speech delays, um, communication problems, just uh, let me know. Other things that are great for vocabulary is... Uh, are pictures with and and go for real life pictures don't go for cartoon drawn pictures because it's harder to you know you need real life objects so these are real looking pictures these are pictures of actual toys actual fish all of that so um these are great for vocabulary and Luckily, Denny's teacher printed out a bunch for me, so I didn't even have to go buy the cards. But you can go buy the cards yourself, and uh, I'm just going to be cutting these out, and then I'm going to go have them laminated. And um, and so that's the plan. Um, another great thing you can do with these is instead of having the cards individual, uh, because Denny like spreads them out over the whole floor, and and she lose gets them lost and things. You can put them in a little cheap, um, like, uh, you can get them at the dollar store, the little photo albums that are just, like, really cheap, one photo per page type photo albums. And you can stick these in so they have their own little book. And after they get, like, you can stick, like, four pictures in there. After they get these four pictures down and know the, the names for each one of these, then you can take them out. And you can put four new ones in. And then uh, to make sure they don't forget these, you can stick the other ones back in. And it's great because you have your own little book that you personalize for them. So uh, Denny loves it. Uh, her teacher has one that she brings all the time. And Denny absolutely loves it. So that's why I'm making one for her. So anyway, I'm almost getting to 10 minutes. So I just wanted to let you guys know that if you need anything, just ask me. And I will either ask the teacher or I'll figure it out myself or I might know it. So just ask. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.